This is it, Kipuna. The healer's house is somewhere nearby. I can hardly walk. It may be too late for me. Just a little while longer. Once we get you patched up, we can get to Calavalla and warn Entheor. Must have been a whole fortress. My friend is hurt. Where can we find the healer? You won't need a healer. I'm a surgeon. In fact, I'll cut both of you open right here. Don't you start. And I'll take that shiny thing you've got in your chest, too. Come here, girl. No! Some deserters, I'll bet. Bandits. But why would bandits set up an ambush so far from roads and towns? Oh, cowards and outlaws naturally scurry to remote places like this.
heard something. Before you run into any more trouble, you just stay back, you hear? And let me handle it. Look, there are some of those tall weeds growing over there. That's a, that's a good hiding place for you. Don't get yourself killed, all right? Ah, these are just bandits. They'll fall quickly. to cut folks these with their sorry camp but I think I know why they were here really same reason as we are looking for the healer <sighs> too late for them but not for you let's keep going a good secluded spot. I'm sorry, Kipuna. We can't stop. We need to find the healer. Don't fool yourself. I only came here to die. It's over. That's enough. Enough rest and defeatist nonsense. March!
Hold on. I've got to catch my breath. Yeah, all right, but not for long. <sighs> so much fog. That must be why they named it Broomhead. And the sun's going down. Go near those lights. No, I don't think they're dangerous. What are they? Let's find out. Look! The stairs rose part way! Oh, with more of them, we could get to the door. Yeah, but why? Um, there's something about that door. Let's be ready when the light hits. The step. Yes.
path to the doorway's complete. Uh, that's where we should go, right? Yes. Let's go. I'm sorry. I thought I could, but I... I can't go on anymore. Everything's going dark. Uh, I don't... Uh, something is really happening, though. Help! She needs help. Did the gateway toy with you on the way? What? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we got through the gate. Look, she's badly hurt. We need your help. You did before and got it. You'll have it again. Uh, uh, I don't understand any of this. But she's dying. Please, help. She's being born. A painful thing. Come in. We'll help deliver her. What's happening? Where am I? In the right place. Finally. It was a near thing. But you're here now. Am I... Am I dead? No, little human. No, indeed. Though you are hurt, it's true. She will guide you to help. See? I understand. I'm dreaming. Yes. None of this is real. No, little spark. All of it is. Come, wait deeper now. To heal you, we must struggle. Northlanders! They followed me here. In a way, they are shadows of your fear and hurt. To heal yourself, you must overcome them. They're too strong. Too horrible. Look at their weapons. Try to taste the power pulsing in you. That strange force that vibrates and itches and claws to get out. Open up to it. How does it feel? It feels... hot. Yes. Let it out. Let the flame out. Blossoming spark, my kipuna. That's all it took. Come, let us wade yet further.
What's this? I've never seen a door like that before. Neither have I. But it is no figment, that is certain. The force of the Shard wishes to show this to you. Yes. Yes, you're right. The door won't open yet. I need to find the power conduits and light them up first. Inside it lies a bud of searing light waiting to bloom if you but call it forth. Call it forth? How? Like calls to like. Use the flame, of course. not enough yet. This is only one pillar of two, and both must be lit. Lead the way, my golden bird. Huh. That rock didn't rise up before. It opens another path. You must now be ready for it, as before you were not. There's more danger this way. I know it. Do we have to go? This way, my ember, is one winding loop on your path out of here. Out of the hurt and blood and fear. The Northlanders have brought their filth here. It's an oil barrel, and spilled oil all around. Verily. It would take little enough for all this to go up in flames. And there, in the center, what you seek. Another light pillar. And this too is surrounded by Northlanders.
Got it. The door's opening. You've done well, my brave little fox. Do you feel hurt? Not much. Your spirit is healed, and your body will follow soon. You're ready for the waking world again. But what about the shard? It's still there, in my chest. Yes. We'll talk more in my hut. Shush, little one. Nothing to be done about it now. Get up. I can't. I'm too badly hurt. What are you afraid of? What? <sighs> are you the healer of Broomhead? Go on and stand up. I've closed your wound with my needle and thread, and if the stitches should tear and your blood come gushing out again, what danger there? Just take a step backward. You know you always can. Wait. You were in my dream. That is so. Now stand up. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing to repay you with. My orchid bud. You know well, my gifts are mine to give. I... healer. I'm forever grateful. I'll remember this always. Those are words to speak under waning moons. Words for a swallow in autumn. But here we can have summer always. A full moon every night. Well, it's daytime now. I think I'm ready to step outside. How are you feeling? Not normal, but... I'm all right. She managed to patch you up, despite that, that thing still in your chest. So, you're good to sail? Yeah, we, we can leave for Calabella? I... I don't know if we can even leave this place without her help. But we've got to warn them that the Northlanders are on the march. Uh, warn the Calavallans, I mean. It's only us. Nobody else survived to alert them. Ah, oh, yes. You're right. I'll talk to her. Kipuna, join me at my fire. I think we should go. I'm too grateful for words. But my protector's growing restless because we're in a hurry. And... and I don't really know how long we've been here. Here, on the hidden side, my blossom, time cannot grasp and strangle us as it will in the world outside, though it may pinch, and what grows here is concealed well. So this place is, um, safe? From cruel and stumbling men, yes. But my little home, too, is beset with trouble. What kind of trouble? Come, my spark. You'll get a chance to shine. Look at these little pieces of wood. Can you hear it? The flame. Hear a flame? Yes. The wood is dry as a bone. Inside all things there waits a little dark ember. The sweet marrow. If you let your own fire speak to it, it will come to life in glory. I don't know if I... Kippana, my blossom, don't dissemble. The Shard has given the secret flame to you, and you have learned in dreaming how to call it forth. It will be no strain to let it roar. Yes! You gave her a magic instrument that blasts fire? 
That's irresponsible. Quiet man when you see sorcery afoot. The fire just came out of me. Oh, wait, um, are we still in the dream world? No, Blossom, though we are far from the real world as well. The power is in you. The gift of the shard that I helped to bring to light in the dream. But uh, she's just a girl. She hasn't been trained in magic. Right, Kippena? She needs no training. Her power is the fruit of her fusion with the shard. Now, quiet! But how did I do that? I've hung these wards on the trees to keep my little house unsullied by Razix. By what? What did she say? Razix. Spirits of despair and shadow from the Northland Mires. As their witch queen has extended her reach, they too have slunk abroad along the cracks in the world shell to places like my hideout here. Evil spirits? They can't be harmed by steel alone, but fire will burn them. You want me to go out there and burn these... Razix? Yes. Their darkness and terror will help you open up and let your fire out. A scarecrow. That's one of them, a Razik. I'm afraid I almost started a forest fire. You did well. The shrubs and meadows here will grow back. They have all the time outside the world. Oh, I've never seen monsters like that before. I'm afraid there are a few more down the path that leads to my sauna. Well, I'll try not to burn that down. Don't hold back. If you make a mistake, just go back, as you now know how.
Hideout is free again of the Razik stain. I'm happy I could help. To begin, at least a little, to pay you back. That it was. You're ready now, Robin Redbreast, to fly. What do you mean? Can I fly too? I, I think she means that you know, we can go now, right? That is so. The kindly wind has blown your fireweed to my pier. And I've asked her to carry you away. Oh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, thank you, Mom. Goodbye. I didn't expect to leave so soon. I mean, I have to, but it's sooner than I thought. You're mostly of the mortal world, and that's the way of it. You're ready when the time comes, and not when you thought you would be. But don't fret, my Blossom. Take my candle and remember me by it. Thank you. Yes, I'm ready.